From flyers taking off to potentially getting ripped off, the Justice Department launching a major investigation into some airlines claiming they're coordinating to keep airfares high. Travel expert Lee Adelanti thinks the government is on to something. How so, Lee? Well, I think this is long overdue for the government to be doing some type of investigation onto the airlines. With all the consolidation and all the mergers in the last five or six years, it's about time. And actually, I would be surprised if the airlines weren't doing something. I'm not going to go so far as to use the word collusion, but I think that there's definitely some uh, funny business going on with the airlines. Well, now, they're supposed to compete, though. And they got rid of some, some when they consolidated, they got rid of some routes that weren't so um, price effective. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what you do as a business. Right. I mean, I understand that they're trying to make money and you want to eliminate the unproductive routes. But at the same time, they're competing, but they're not really competing like they used to. They all You're do saying the they're same. what? What? They're actually talking to each other, are you thinking? It stands to, to reason that that might be the case. Well, I mean, I'm not going to go ahead and accuse them, but there's a lot of stuff going on. Like when one airline lowers a fare or does something, all the airlines do the exact same thing. So they're competing, but they're all doing the exact same thing. So how are they really competing? Well, you know, it's a very easy target, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know anybody who likes the airlines <laughs> or likes the banks. I mean, this is a very populist it's easy to tap into people's anger. Could that be partially what's behind the Justice Department? Well, I think there might be something to that. And yeah, who likes the airlines? Because you're paying more than you ever have before, and you're getting No, that's that. not true. Well, that's not true. It's, I mean, it, we're paying, it's actually cheap. I mean, it may not be as cheap as it was a couple of years ago, but talking about, you know, before deregulation. Well, here's the thing. Airlines were crying foul for years because of the price of oil, right? And they jacked up prices by X amount of percent, probably 30, 40 percent in some routes uh, for a long period of time. And now that oil is off 30 or 40 percent, have they lowered fares? No, they have not. And has service improved on the U.S. airlines? No, compared to the Middle Eastern or Asian airlines, they have not, at least in my perspective. And I fly a lot. Bottom line, what's this mean to me as a flyer? It means that nothing's really going to change. You're going to be continuing to pay uh, higher fares and have... Unless they can prove this collusion. Unless they can prove very it. Very hard. But that's a very difficult thing to do. I'm not a lawyer, but I know that's the case. Okay. Thank you very much. We appreciate your perspective. Sure. Thank you. Thanks, Lee. From